The Nothing Phone 2 is here. It looks a lot like the Nothing Phone 1, but it's priced quite a bit higher. What's new, what's different, and is it worth grading or spending the extra on the Phone 2? Well, let's compare them side by side with camera samples, super SAS style to find out. You want to stay tuned for the camera comparison because there are some big surprises, trust me. So let's start off with the design. As mentioned, they do look quite familiar, Carl. But I do really like the transparent design that nothing has gone for for their devices. Now, yes, from the side and certain angles from the front, they do look like iPhones. And there has actually been a couple of occasions where I've gone to pick up one of the nothing phones from the front and I've thought it's my iPhone. However, from the back, they are very unique and I love this design, especially with the Glyph interface. Now the Glyph interface has been updated on the Nothing Phone 2. We'll talk about that in a little bit. And the Nothing Phone 2 is slightly larger compared to the Nothing Phone 1. It's also slightly heavier. We do have the same materials. There is a 100% recycled aluminum frame. Now the Nothing Phone 2 does have more recycled components. I'm not gonna go into a list of those there, but it's great to see. And we have a Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and back of both devices. The Nothing Phone 2, however, does have a slightly curved back which makes it a little bit more comfortable to hold. And it also doesn't really feel that much bigger. Now the Nothing Phone 1 had two colors, the black and the white. The Nothing Phone 2 has white and a gray. Now the gray actually looks pretty good and it shows off more of the components in the back. And I guess if you've gone for a transparent design, you kind of do want to show that off. So yes, an incremental update for the design, but I still really do like it. Let's talk about the Glyph interface. So this was one of the first that we had seen on the Nothing Phone 1. It's something that was very popular. It's now been improved on the Nothing Phone 2. Now, although the positioning and general design of the Glyph interface is pretty much the same, it is now more segmented, which allows for more customization. So the Nothing Phone 1 has 12 individually addressable zones. The Nothing Phone 2 has 33. So this allows for more features. For instance, we've got a volume indicator at the back. We've also got a glyph timer, which is pretty cool. You can just set this, turn the phone around, and it's going to count down using one of the glyphs. The glyph on the Phone 2 can also go brighter than the Phone 1, and it can also go dimmer. It has adaptive glyph brightness, so there's a sensor above the flash, and this is gonna sense the surroundings and adapt the brightness accordingly. We now also have essential glyph notifications, so these are more persistent notifications for important apps. And with the Phone 2, we will be getting more third-party support. So right now, the one that we've got is Uber, so you can see the progress of your ride or your waiting time. Now, I said this in my unboxing, personally, I can't see myself using this because if I am waiting for an Uber or if I am sat in an Uber, I am gonna be on my phone. It will be interesting to see if other third-party apps will be able to utilize the Glyph in a useful way. I think personally, my favorite new feature on the Glyph is the Glyph Composer. Now this is a dedicated app and you can record 10 seconds of your custom Glyph. This reminds me of back in the Nokia 3310 days where you could have your own ringtones. It's maybe a bit of a gimmick, but it's really quite fun. Now, a lot of these features cannot come to the phone one because this has a different LED system. This is the version one of the Glyph. We've got version two with some of these new cool features. Now with the Glyph, I think it's a fun, unique feature that we don't have on other devices. I always have my phone facing forward. So when I've got it on the table, I'm not necessarily gonna have it facing backwards, but I've had to try to do that more while using the Nothing Phone 1 and Nothing Phone 2. Now, just a quick reminder, if you are enjoying this video so far and you wanna see more like it, then do consider subscribing to the channel and there will be nothing that you miss in future. Okay, I'm sorry, that was really bad. Anyway, let's move on to the displays. So we do have some updates for the display. Firstly, we have a center punch out rather than the side one. Now, this is something that I personally prefer. The side punch out is fine, but generally you have items on either side of the display. So the middle part is what's empty. So I prefer that center punch out on the Nothing Phone 2. And the bezels are also slightly smaller on the Nothing Phone 2. So the Nothing Phone 1, I actually think 
had one of the best displays in its price range. I love the fact that it has uniform bezels. This is something that we don't see on many of the devices that are even more expensive compared to the Nothing Phone 1 and 2. The Nothing Phone 2 continues this design and it does have a slightly larger 6.7 inch OLED display. However, this time it does have LTPO technology. That means it can go all the way down to just one hertz and all the way up to 120 hertz. The Nothing Phone 1 can go between 60 and 120 hertz. Both displays are actually really good and very smooth. The Nothing Phone 2 is also slightly brighter, so you've got a 1600 nits peak brightness. And it's something that you do notice slightly when you are outdoors. So I wanna emphasize again, the Nothing Phone 1 has an excellent display for its price point. The Nothing Phone 2 just improves on that. Right, now let's talk about cameras. I know this is something that you guys are very interested in. So the front facing camera, we now have a high resolution. You can see some samples here. Now for the rear facing cameras, we do have the same ultra wide camera. It's 50 megapixels, it's the Samsung JN1 sensor. However, the Nothing Phone 2 has a newer Sony IMX 890 sensor. Now we also have a new image signal processor, an 18 bit image signal processor. And I was told that the Nothing Phone 1, when it comes to HDR, can combine three frames of different exposures. And the Nothing Phone 2 can combine eight. So I was expecting night and day difference in HDR. However, this was really not the case because in my testing, I actually found that the Nothing Phone 1 produced better dynamic range. The Nothing Phone 2 really does seem to crush the shadows as you can see from these examples here. And I thought it might just be my unit, so I did try the other Nothing Phone 2 unit as well and I got the same results. Now, if you do zoom in quite a bit, the Nothing Phone 2 does have less noise, but that dynamic range, I mean, I was expecting it to be so much better than the Nothing Phone 1, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Now, I don't wanna give Nothing a hard time here, I think we've got a new ISP, new chipset, new camera sensor. I think they're still gonna have to optimize the software to make this back. So this is something that we'll maybe have to revisit. Now for video, you can see an example at 4K here. And this is 4K at 30 frames a second on both devices. We've got the Nothing Phone 1 and we have the Nothing Phone 2. What do you think? The Nothing Phone 2 can do 4K up to 60 frames a second. Thanks to the new ISP, the Nothing Phone 1 can do 4K up to 30 frames a second. We also have up to 480 frames a second of slow motion on the Nothing Phone 2. So that's four times slower compared to what we have on the Nothing Phone 1. And there is a new action mode on the Nothing Phone 2. Now I did test this versus the stabilization on the Nothing Phone 1. And as you can see from this example, the Nothing Phone 1 seems to be doing better. So. I was really confused by this. I had to check multiple times, but no, I hadn't done anything wrong. Now, once again, I'm gonna say this is down to software updates. Bless you. <laughs> now, once again, I'm gonna say that this is down to software updates and I think with software updates, we will get some improvements on the Nothing Phone 2. However, one area where I've definitely noticed an improvement is with performance because we do have the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset on the Nothing Phone 2. The Nothing Phone 1 had the Snapdragon 778G Plus. Now you can see right away from benchmarks, the Nothing Phone 2 performs way better compared to the Nothing Phone 1. But in terms of day-to-day -day usage, just opening apps and just going through the UI, the Nothing Phone 2 is very smooth. It's also really smooth for gaming and you're gonna be able to maintain high frame rates. And I think most importantly, the Nothing Phone 2 will last you longer because of the 8 Plus Gen 1. And I think Nothing has actually made a good decision by going with the 8 Plus Gen 1. If they had gone with the Gen 2, that would have increased the price significantly. And the 8 Plus Gen 1 is a very capable chipset. Now, this is all not to say that the Nothing Phone 1 is bad. I think in day-to-day -day use, it's actually still really good. Right, what about battery life? So the Nothing Phone 2 does have a slightly larger battery compared to the Nothing Phone 1. Now in my usage, I actually thought they were both pretty good. I'd say that the Nothing Phone 2 in particular is better when you are using the cameras and when you have the device in standby, it took less power. Now one area where the Nothing Phone 2 has improved is with charging. So you do have 45 watts of charging compared to 33 watts charging. So that means you'll be able to get 
a full charge in around 55 minutes on the Nothing Phone 2. Even though it is a larger battery, the Nothing Phone 1 will take you around 70 minutes. Now, when it comes to wireless charging, things are the same, 15 watts of Qi wireless charging. And this will take 10 minutes more on the phone too because of that slightly larger battery. And both do have the same five watts of reverse wireless charging. Reverse wireless charging, I very rarely use, but I have to say it looks very, very cool on the Nothing Phone 1 and 2. Now, unfortunately, neither of the devices come with a charger out of the box. So you're gonna have to use one you already have or get one separately. The Nothing Phone 2 does now, however, come with a new semi-transparent cable, which does look pretty cool and goes with the transparent Nothing theme. Right, now software. So the Nothing Phone 2 does come out of the box with Nothing OS 2.0. The Nothing Phone 1 currently has Nothing OS 1.5. Nothing OS 2.0 will be coming to the phone one, but that will be in August. And both devices do have three years of Android updates with four years of security patches every two months. Now, because the Nothing Phone one has already been out for a year, that means you'll get two more years of Android updates as well as three more years of security updates because one of those years has now gone. And that does mean that the Nothing Phone 2 will last you longer with software updates. And to be fair, nothing has been pretty good with software updates. We've already had nine software updates since launch on the phone one. Now, in terms of nothing OS, my personal opinions, I really like it. It's one of my favorite skins. It's nice and clean. You've got the monochrome theme throughout if you'd like. But now you also have new folder configurations with circular folder icons, which look pretty cool. You've also got nothing branded icons to assign to apps and folders. You can now have four or five columns in apps so you can utilize more of the display and you can turn off labels for a cleaner look. Widgets can now also be displayed on the always on display and you have quick settings on the lock screen. So if there are particular settings that you like to toggle between, you can have easy access to them on the lock screen. Now, most of these features will be coming on the phone one. So that's good to know. For the speakers, we have a dual stereo speakers and I am no audiophile. They both do sound good to me. I would say that the phone two is a bit more bassy. Both the Nothing Phone one and Nothing Phone two have dual SIM support. So we've got two physical SIM cards that you can have active at the same time. And for storage, so we've got a 120, 256 gigabyte version. However, the Nothing Phone 2 now has a larger 512 gigabyte version. That brings us on to the price. So the Nothing Phone 1 will still be available on Nothing's website, starting at 400 pounds. The Nothing Phone 2 will be starting at 580 pounds. So that's almost 50% more compared to the phone one. Pre-orders will be on launch date and there will be limited drops. I'd assume that the phone two will be difficult to get a hold of in the first couple of months. And to answer the question at the start of this video, is it worth upgrading from the Nothing Phone one to the phone two? I would say no. I think the Nothing Phone one still should be pretty good unless you're somebody that really wants that new chipset. And if you're thinking of buying the Nothing Phone 2, I mean, it is a good phone overall. And I think the higher price is justified because of the new things that you are getting. However, I would like to see some more camera improvements with software. And if you are on a bit of a budget and you want a Nothing Phone, then the Nothing Phone 1 is still going to be on sale. It's still a great, unique device in my opinion. And the price has dropped in other places. So on Amazon, for instance, it is for 380 pounds. I'll leave a link down in the description below. That's what I think anyway. What do you guys think? Drop me a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. If you want to see my unboxing of the Nothing Phone 2, that's going to be linked here, as well as another related video here. If you want to see more content like this, then do consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so you don't miss it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, do smash that like button for me. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV, and I'll see you next time.